Hey everybody, just wanted to give you a quick tour of what I've been up to with the I.O. Bridge. Uh, show you what I'm doing. Just bought a house uh, and trying to do some uh, homebrew, home automation with it. So I'll show you what i got going on here. I'm in my basement right now. It's my uh, workshop. And over here is where I keep the I.O. Bridge. Uh, down here is the Domo Kuhn uh, diorama that you can use to play the servo motors with. So on channel one, I have a opto isolator and a temperature uh, reading digital. On channel two, I have it doing a digital uh, input read. Channel three is an X10 read to a bunch of modules that are around the house. Uh, channel four is a servo. Uh, but the interesting thing I'm doing is on channel one and channel two. Channel one has the opto isolator uh, that I built, and you can kind of see there. And basically what that does is it triggers the garage door whenever I hit a button. Uh, and I had that going for a while, but the problem was I didn't know whether the garage door was up or down. Uh, so the solution was to do a digital input read on channel 2 for a read sensor, which I'll show you where that's at. That's over here. So it's kind of dark, so I'll go ahead and put up the garage door. You see that right there is the magnet on the bottom of the garage door that triggers the reed switch down here which runs on a cat5 cable up the door and it actually feeds also the button that uh, hits the opto isolator too for the garage door uh, and then goes back over to the IO bridge uh, so that's what I got going on right now uh, future projects will be to put the same kind of device on the washer and the dryer so it will send me an email whenever um, the washer and the dryer cycles are done but for right now, that's my workshop, and that's what I'm doing with the I.O. Bridge.